and good morning, fellow explorers. Today, I've been exploring the different little miracles that nature has. Take, for example, a grain of sand. Show me a tiny, tiny grain of sand. Even smaller. Yeah, there you go. So if you have a very specific microscope and you times it by 250 into a grain of sand, then you will see the true beauty of it. Um, it's made out of crystals, it's made out of fragments of shells, and it's made of volcanic rock. Take a look at this picture. Hopefully it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Cool. Maybe don't look at that picture. Maybe imagine that it's there. <laughs> uh, we'll show you a picture later in children's ministry anyway, just so you can see properly. And think, for example, snowflakes as well. Snowflakes have many different little patterns on them. And it's just so incredible. It's the little tiny miracles of nature. And I was reflecting. I was thinking, hmm, I actually know a story of a big miracle of nature. And it's a story about when the sea opened up to let a people group through. They were called the Israelites. Anyone know the Israelites? They were called God's people. Yes. So the story goes that the uh, Israelites were trapped by the Egyptians. They were in slavery. And they were crying out, saying, God, help us. God, help us. They wanted to run away. They didn't want to be part of Egypt anymore. They didn't want to be slaves. So they cried out to God, and God sent Moses. Moses came to help them, to free them, to rescue them. Um, and then uh, as they were free, they escaped from Egypt. They ran away, and then they got stuck. And they got stuck because there was a big sea in front of them. So imagine you're trapped between a sea and a bunch of people that are trying to run behind you to attack you. Uh-oh, what do you do? Um, and they were complaining to Moses because they cried out to God, uh, but they didn't actually stop to listen to God. So they complained to Moses saying, what's going on? What's happening here? Um, that's the, sea uh, the sand fragments, by the way, the grain of sand. <laughs> Look at how many different particles there are. Beautiful. <laughs> And the snow, there you go, <laughs> context, <laughs> beautiful. Um, so yeah, they were trapped between the sea and the Egyptians and they cried out to God, but they wasn't listening. But then they complained to Moses and Moses was listening to God. And what happened? Moses said, everybody stop, freeze. And he said, be still because God will fight for us. So what God told uh, Moses to do was a big miracle. So it was out of the ordinary. He asked him to hold up his staff. Everyone hold up your staff in the air like this. Yes. And then what happened? Anyone know what happened? Yeah? He opened the sea. Yeah, God opened up the sea. Well done. So it parted like this. And then they all walked through safely to shore on dry land. Uh, but what happened? The Egyptians were still coming through the sea. Do you have an answer, buddy? He held up his, he held up his staff, and then the water came down. Yeah. yeah. So well done. So Moses held up his staff again, and the water came crashing down over the Egyptians, and they were free from that slavery at last. They were free from the yes, from Egypt. Um, and then what happened after that? The Israelites. They moved when God said to move, and they stayed when God st said to stay. So today we are looking about how God does the impossible, that Moses held out his staff for that Red Sea. That was something that was natural, but it was actually supernatural. Uh, the split, uh, split, and there was a miracle that happened. So we're going to be looking at what it means to rest in God, but to move in God too in obedience today. So about how miracles could happen, but also how we could rest in God and move in God when he says to move. It's about obedience. So we'll be looking at later out the back during the preach. Thank you, Lord, that you are the God of miracles, Lord, that you are doing wonders in our lives, Lord. Even the small little tiny miracles of each day, even in nature, we see your greatness, Lord. And Lord, we just ask for more, Lord, that we'll see signs and wonders, Lord, as we are obedient to you, Lord. May we be obedient when you say to move, and may we be obedient when you say to be still. And Lord, we just pray that you'll bless the children as well when we go out the back during the preach, Lord. And may we learn more and more about you today, in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Antonio the Explorer, over and out. But before